From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. We are dealing with a lot of heat out there, but we do get some relief as we go into the second half of the weekend. A cold front will get close to us. That's going to kick off some spotty storms tonight and tomorrow, but it's also going to bring some cooler temps. 76 degrees for tonight, highs only in the 80s for Sunday, but also the chance for some scattered strong storms Sunday afternoon as this front drops south. Mike and Tracy. Hey, Ramesha, thank you. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hello, everybody. I'm Tracy Carlos. I'm Mike Brookbank. One person is dead, eight others hurt after a shooting and fire at a home on Cleveland's west side. Police and fire crews were called to the home on West 95th around 3 this morning. Fire officials tell us a 51-year-old man was found shot in the head in the basement. He died at the hospital. Eight others, including three teens and a baby, were found upstairs. They were all taken to the hospital and treated for smoke inhalation. Investigators still looking for a suspect. The Kent Fire Department just confirmed crews had to rescue another person from the Cuyahoga River this week. Officials say Thursday night, a young woman was swimming near the Main Street Bridge when she got pulled into the current and ended up in the rapids. She was able to grab a branch and then onto an island. She waited for emergency crews to rescue her. There have been more than 20 rescues from the river already this year. Kent Fire is again asking everyone to be cautious near the water and always wear a life jacket. Independent bookstores across the country are teaming up for a cause. They're calling it Bookstores Against Borders. And today, several stores in our area joined the movement. Loganberry Books in Shaker Heights was one of those stores. 10% of all their sales today went to a national nonprofit that provides legal aid to refugees detained at the U.S.-Mexico border. The movement was started by a bookstore in Madison, Wisconsin and spread across the country. They've already raised more than $100,000 together. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or simply open our News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.